Okay, this week we're talking to Tyler Pruitt, and he is he knows more about the clash than anybody at this point since he competed in three of the clash events this year, finishing just outside the top three with a fourth, fourth, and fifth, right? Uh, fifth, fourth, and fifth. Okay, fifth, fourth, and fifth. So you accumulated – I know someone had mentioned that they should just let you go and the fact that you accumulated the most points. Um, did anybody else do multiple shows, or were you the only one? Uh, I think Sam Pape is the only person that did more than one show. Uh, he did he did Nashville and then Jersey, and but he tore his bicep on the yoke in the in the Jersey Jersey Clash. Okay, so you did you did three of the four. So you're you're pretty much old school with this. You watched last year's clash. You got to meet a lot of these guys. I want since you're not going to be there competing, you're going to be there volunteering. I'm going to be there watching. I want your pick for podium for this year's clash on the coast. Who do you, who do you, who do you think? Start with third. Give me third, second, and then give me your winner. Okay. No, and no no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. All right. So in third place, man, this is this is I know who my top three are, but in third place, I love him to death. Um, Justin Loy. I think he is gonna have come back with a vengeance from last year because he missed finals and he beat himself up about it. He's gonna come back, he's gonna put together a good show. Um, and he's strong as an ox. I see. I saw it in person. And him and I actually went to high school together. Um, okay. Yeah. He, he's a little bit older, but anyway. Second place. Again, I love the guy. Um, him and I always have very good conversation. Nicholas Camby. I think he'll get edged out, and I think he'll take second. Um, that's he, that's that's that that that's that's some big news here because I mean he's the way he dominated OSG and the way he dominated Clash last right. year. He he is definitely the favorite going in. Right. Um, and then he might get I'm, pissed. He, he might get pissed off at you for not picking him. No, I think it'll light a fire. Nick's, <laughs> Nick's, very, Nick's a very happy guy. I think he'll be like, all right, Tyler, I'm just going to prove you wrong. Um, but I think we're going to see Dan Hughes win just because he's one of the most athletic dudes I've, I've seen, um, like in person and like just watching his training videos and stuff. And I think he's very super strong. He's a very good deadlifter. His pressing is coming along pretty good. Um, he's not a weak presser at all. And by coming along, I mean, like, he's already up there. It's just, like, he's not a can-be presser, obviously. Um, but his deadlift is phenomenal, and he is the fastest dude in moving events, like, period. Um, I don't think he'll – and that's what the Clash of the Coast is, is built on. It's going to be – they have two hours on ESPN, and they got to get four, five events done in two hours, and I think that's right up Dan's alley because he's an active-duty Army soldier as well. He's going to have that conditioning. He's super fucking strong, and he's very meticulous in his training. Um, I think that I think he'll come out and surprise a lot of us. So that's yeah, that, that's definitely surprising to me. Um, I got to meet Dan for the first time at Nashville. We met him with the judges, but the only problem with him is he cheats a little bit. <laughs> you know, hey, be, because he uses that fucking Jedi Force shit. I just saw him doing. He just <laughs> doing fucking force jumps. So. I don't know if it's fair. Like, they definitely got to test him for, like, the mitochondria or something like that before the show to make sure he's not yeah. not on something. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, it's, it's gonna be It's going to be a great show. Do you – so, you give me your thought. And, and Justin Lloyd qualified through one of the shows because I was wondering if you think anybody from the qualifiers has a chance to make the final. So, obviously, Justin, you think, is going to make it. But do you see anybody else – that had to do the qualifiers this year, making the finals at least, making the top ten. Uh, Jeff Lee will one hundred percent make the finals. Um, I think Nick Hine will one hundred percent make the finals as well. Um, hold on, let me think. Let me think. Anthony San Lorenzo, yes. Man, I think. Oh man, getting saucy. Well, the the tough thing is, who were you kicking out from last year? Because you you're just adding four or five guys, so you're saying four or five guys from last year's aren't going to make it. So. I have a few that I think might not make it from last year, um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, if you watched like if you watching last year. I don't know if we would have put anybody in the spot who thinks would get kicked out. But we know we know the you know the four or five guys from last year, the top guys are probably going to be back again this year. And you just add another four or five to the list, so it's going it's going to be probably the most one of the most competitive shows we've seen in a long time. I think one hundred percent because out of everyone that's competing, it's like. The difference between the worst guy there and the best guy there is so minimal. It is yeah. insane. Like, because now that you just brought that to my head, it's like, wow. I did <laughs> just kick out. I just, kid, I did just kick out four. Uh, 
if I had to, if I had to pick just one out of all the class of all the clash qualifiers, make it to the finals, it'll be Mike O'Connor. Um, yeah. That dude's a sad. I watched him train at Johnny's gym. The dude is so smart and so athletic, and just he moves very well. Uh, Mike O'Connor will definitely make it to the finals. I think. Yeah. So yeah, so you you got you got we got the finals mixed up. I, I haven't really looked at the list, and um, you know you know this class a lot better than I do, being actually in the one of fives. So I don't know. I may have to put together a list or get get a list of the athletes and see. But yeah, it's it's going to be competitive. The heat's going to be fun. A lot of it's going to come down to how the heats work out because if you have three of those guys in the same heat, like I, I don't know if they're going to do some kind of ranking system, maybe like to have the guys based on last year. I don't, I don't know. How, I don't know how firm is going to do it, but uh, you know, you'd hate to see three of them top guys all with the same heat. No, only, only two of them can make it. So it's going to, it's going to be very interesting to watch. Yeah, for sure. Once the heats come out, we we'll definitely have a better picture. I definitely, you know, go into a better uh, debate on what we think is going to happen. But also at the same time, these dudes like Bob Schwantz, for example, or the guys that got early qualifiers in, they've been just steady training this whole uh-huh. time, just getting better and getting better. And then the dudes that didn't have to, you know, requalify, they've just been getting better, getting better. So I think this clash coming up and every show after it, we're just going to see a new level of badassery. And it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see it. Like I said, it's, it's going to be cool to watch. It's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to talk about up until then. Um, but like you mentioned before, it's a two-hour show with five events. So it's going to be who can survive. Um, I guess that's going to be the final. I guess the finals are going to be on ESPN. So the heats, working into the heats, you know, you got to survive through the heats. So even though the guys might make the finals, you know, are they going to be 100% or at least 90% on day of the finals because after being pushed the day before, and it's the next day. There's, there's no breaking between. I, I guess it was supposed to originally be the heats on Friday, final Sunday. But um, talking to Sean Shoemaker, he told me that ESPN wants to be there on Saturday. So they're going back to back. They're doing five events on Friday and five events on Saturday. So that's not going to bode well for some people if they, if they don't come through healthy. Right. So definitely going to shake it up. I can't wait to watch it. Um, like I said, we're going to see you there. Clash on the coast. Hilton Head, South Carolina. What is it? April... 22nd, 23rd? Yep, April 22nd. So, see you there. Follow it. Follow Tyler on all his social media. Follow One More Strongcast. Follow this YouTube channel. Subscribe. And uh, thank you for joining us, and thank you for listening. Thank you, Darren. I appreciate it, man. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.